What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 17 of my Arsenal Pez 2019 Master League series. Leave a big thumbs up on this episode if you are enjoying it. As this episode, we're going to round off January. We may look to sign someone. We'll go through that. Uh, waste no time, really. We'll just go to the negotiations and scouting. I talked in the previous episode, yeah, what's good about scouting? Someone said actually that the chances of signing a player is increased and we'll go into that right now to show you. See, chance of signing, the lowest there is three bars and just for example, if we wanted to sign John Tarr, he's young, 23 years old, he's a very, very good center back. Physical contact, 95, absolutely, yeah, a physical beast and you can see his strong attributes that makes for a great central defender. So if we ever need another centre-back, he's one. Like, he's already on the list there, apparently. It's a delete from that list, but add to listed players. But he's not on listed players. I thought we had him on the list, but I think that's just the chances of signing list to remove him from there. But anyway, that's the point. So hopefully get a good left-back uh, through you can things to focus on their overall rating so ho hopefully you can find a really strong left back as Monreal should be moving on the following day here well we go to the 30th it said it was the, the there yeah he's left the club oh scout I found a really special player he's got talent of course but he also has the team player team role there we go we rel we didn't rel we sold him <laughs> we sold the player we didn't release him it was a transfer. But yeah, yeah, let's go into the scout. I'm, I get excited to see who the player is. Let's see. Let, oh, David Alaba. If my scout finds him, does that make it an unrealistic signing? Hey, my scout has went out <laughs> to, uh, to pick him up. So, mm, I don't even need to like get excited. Like, oh, he's a good player. I'm like, we know how good he is. He's moved to Monaco already. But, oh, man, like, he's got an A rating as a centre-back and left-back and play midfield positions. So, for that reason, they're being very versatile. And just at that point, again, if we go to transfer negotiations, the, like, that isn't even that much money, really, if you look at his transfer fee. He's got his release fee, and that might even go through. Like, almost half of it, that could work. That's pretty crazy. Because his market value is 20... That's it. Scout a player and he's you can sign him for cheaper. That's what this seems like already. So, yeah, thank you for that tip. Uh, to really utilize scouting a lot more because then you can find players that are yeah, in good position to sign. Like here, like 82%, that should be good enough. But I want to just make sure of it because that's not even too much more. And that's a bargain, I'd say, if that goes through uh, really for Alaba. Um, try and increase the contract length where it's still going to be uh, 2.5 years. That's how much? Okay, 87% is still strong with a 3.5. <laughs> Get a big contract, 4.5. Uh, 3.5 is strong, I think. And salary, how much would that increase it? Not too much. Make a strong 90%. But the release fee, hey, that's a high amount. We'll make some actually pretty solid profit, but try and just make it a little bit higher. Ooh. I prefer to go without a release, but then it, it completely destroys the chance of signing. So I've got to put that into consideration. I just, I like when it's above 80%, like to be for sure about it, you know, because yeah, we haven't got anyone else scattered at the moment on his level. So if we put a release fee for that amount, if anyone makes that, it's kind of like a double, double, like a double profit there. So uh, double the amount we paid. So I don't think that's such a bad negotiation there. So yeah, that's what I'm taking. it. That's what I want to state as well. Um, when I used to play like Pez and FIFA, like career mode and Master League, when I was younger, <laughs> before I made YouTube videos especially, if a signing was realistic or not, that's not something that went through my mind, you know? I just, oh, I'll search for a play that's good and that we need, and that's it. So... Yeah, to me, it's never been a consideration. It's like, ever since I started making videos, I'm like, do people actually play the game this way? I like getting good players. If it, like, seemed completely unrealistic, like maybe signing Messi for Real Madrid, and it's like something you'd see that would really, really never happen, just for you personally. Yeah, maybe, but yeah, I just find that 
a bit weird because I'm like I used to play the game just looking for players to improve the team because if it was judged off that like how we brought in Salah Salah has improved the team like if like to me these modes is making your team better that's the goal and you're doing well if you're doing that <laughs> if that makes sense you know what I mean if you're playing the game in that way if you think about what's the point of playing like Master League and career mode it to make your team better like if if like is how do you win that mode like how do you win that game like if you think about uh winning different games it's not sports games not football games you know what i mean so to me that's kind of how you win <laughs> making your team better a higher rating so let's just see what goes through here i'm really hoping it does Ooh, damn look at the intense noise it gets you in the moments it gets you in the moments so there's been an update with Alaba. Like, I'd love if this goes through. Oh, my God. Workhorse effect. They look to be on something there. Danny Welbeck talks about his teammate, <laughs> Kajalny. With him playing... Okay. With him playing, the whole team really comes together. He's a really... Ta nah. They seem on something. <laughs> the workhorse effect. So, let's see the negotiations. Yeah, guys. Uh, that fee, it seems like... An, for someone... Like, j judging... The money? Like, oh, and his release fee as well. Is that really all down just to scouting him? <laughs> I won't complain about it, but I'm just wondering, okay, it's really crucial to scout players. Uh, so let's just accept the terms because we know how good he is. A fee of, um, yeah, the transfer fee will be paid. The transfer window will close in 15 hours. This process will take, oh, it says, it says how long uh, how the process will take to make it happen. It's really, re it's really specific. It's really specific. I like that. And now suddenly we have David Alaba. So again, I don't want to see it as something unrealistic. Sure, it may not happen in real life. It, there's a large chance it probably won't. But for this save, for my Master League save, he improves the team. And that's what people really want. <laughs> and that's what maybe I need if I'm going to be testing myself. And yeah, obviously, no questions asked comes in straight for Kalesana. So what we've done in this window is pretty good. Essentially, yeah, we swap. Well, we did. We swap Salah for Aubameyang. And then, obviously, uh, but not too much more money. That's what I mean. It, that's why it's almost seen as a swap as well. Th how much we bought Alaba was just a few extra million than we sold Monreal for. That's crazy. And let me know the, all the reasons for that, if there was other reasons, or it is just because scouted him and that increases the chances of signing. So uh, that's pretty cool. And see, within the game mode, if we think within the game, getting the scout to find a player and bring to you and then making a move, that feels like something that would happen in real life as well if we talk about something that's realistic that I don't want to harp on too much about. But yeah, to see from these other point of views... Because it is a video game and not real life, of course. <laughs> and just to show that news item there with Alaba, got the Arsenal shirts, and just a press conference. Ah, oh, yeah, Mavro Panis has that 27. I thought, yeah, Alaba's 27 higher number, there wouldn't be someone taking it. Though, we might need to make a swap either way, because Mavro Panos may not, yeah, I don't think. He'll have a future. Again, the 13, let's just give him the next one, maybe 24, that's... It's fairly close. Oh, 28. 28, the closest available one to 27. And just me personally, I don't think he's going to have a long-term future because he's already 22. Like, if he was, like, 18, 19, you'd probably say, yeah, he's going to be a good young player. If you take a look progression, oh, he hasn't got bad progression, though. So, but I don't think he'd be the best centre-back in the team. You know, I think he could be potentially decent backer. He's got all right attributes, I'm not going to lie. May give him a chance if, yeah, we see that... Um, uh, fit so yeah just to give Alba his number and that still keeps our transfer budget like well, 21 million a decent amount but again squad size is good we don't need to worry too much about that I think we're solid for this season and just see how the off season goes and I don't think it's like uh, FIFA as well where you need to make a, a pre-contract signing in January there didn't seem to be players available it's more so just those older guys so those are the real unrealistic ones. <laughs> like, yeah, like crazy players, crazy moves be made in FIFA. Yeah, we just progress to the next day. We don't really need any more 
signings. Uh, team of the month. See, we're still getting plays in team of the month. Take a look at that. Still had a strong month. And there's the budget report for the month, January as well. See, so uh, yeah, gate receipts, merchandise sale bonus, contract options payment, <laughs> fan favorite bonuses as well. We get money for that. The debut approaches. But yeah, guys, the team is strong now. So also, guys, if we're going to talk about on that, if we're going to talk on that, I am going to leave it on top player. The Like I changed it to the last game of the last episode, of course, was a bit of a, oh, I started well. We took a lead. That's what I mean. I think I've seen that progression. I can score now more regularity with that. Uh, so I think it's more so... Th I just need to be focused in those little situations, but that's not the only thing. Of course, we need to... Well, what I did is change up some of the tactics. If you take a look at attacking instructions, uh, these are the ones we have. I didn't really change too much of that, to be honest. More so the defensive instructions. Uh, we've got that frontline pressure, uh, middle for the containment area, uh, conservative uh, with the pressuring. Uh, defensive line compactness. They're, I've been looking at comments and I've tried to apply them uh, through those and advanced instructions. They're the ones we have for attack hug the touchline wing rotation then defense deep defensive line and swarm the box So some changes there when we're defending get players back and I think that will really oh, I don't know if salt will see in this man, but I don't know guys again. It's something I can't change Southampton there looks like they have like weaker players starting and barely anyone on the subs so, it looks like they're really depleted. So, this should be a match I win for sure. Again, hopefully that's something these teams can rectify as the seasons go on. Sign more players, surely they will. But come on, it's a good test for me then now. Uh, <laughs> I should be able to beat them even on this harder level for me. So, let's go. Come on. European Championship stars. So, this is my club. Let me know if you want me to start my club, but I don't really think... Yeah, because FIFA 19 is about to come out and I started career mode. So I'm sure you want me to keep doing Mass League and just career mode or then there'll be a bit too much. But yeah, let's get straight into it now. We did spend a bit of a time on the transfers uh, for this episode with the build-up. But now the fact is that's all done. January is done. Rest of the season, focus on doing as best as we can. And for me, challenge me so challenging myself on top player. And hopefully you can see that progression. And again, I know I'm, I won't try and push up too much, but good pressure. But I do understand Pez is very heavy tactically, and that can change a lot. There we go, Ramsey. See, I can tell. See, that looks like oh, that's easy to defend them. You just got to do that every time. So Alaba. Well, no foul, but see, yeah, we're really just mm, really well positioned. Here we go, Ramsey. See what's happening? What's happening? I feel I don't want to get too excited. So another early goal. Uh, I think that's a big thing for me. I've got to be as focused as when I'm not winning. And when I'm trying to score a goal, have that same effort defensively. Come on, it's a great goal, but we've got to stay stay focused. Come on. But I really, I think I've found, <laughs> yeah, it's my first game with the changes, but I think I've found a good balance. Ah, oh, yes. Alba, oh, look at this. Look at this. This feels too easy. Our new signings combined, so keep that in mind. And Salah, kissing the pitch. But it was just the setup. Look at the combination. Like I said, two new signings in January combining together here. So I think this is a mix of everything right now. It's a mix of my transfers I've brought in, for sure and then the tactic changes so I think I've done well but of course credit to you guys as well that have suggested um, tactical changes that's what I've tried to apply but now I'm like feeling I'm like does that seem a little bit easy anyway big change yeah 
But I'm like, this is not the strongest side, judging off their lineup. Yeah, guys, this... I don't want it to feel like this stepping up to the next difficulty will be tough, I know for sure. Oh, shit. Like, in the back of my head, oh, don't be playing this good. They're going to want you to play on Superstar. The next, That's the next one, isn't it? Real focus. I'm trying to really focus as much as I can defensively. Just the runs are so dangerous. Just take a look at this. Look at the combination. The combination. Just trying to be a bit tricky. And maybe you could... You could think it's like, oh, he looks like a different player just off of this, <laughs> off of this first half, and with some changes. <sighs> Alaba, that was silly. You should give him a card, mate. He's trying to reason. Ah, uh, Cedric. Trying to reason it. Goes in dangerous tackle. Draxa, yes, yes, yes. Good half. Good half. Alibas came in and been absolutely amazing. Amazing signing he was. So the... I suppose the way I want to see it is... My scout went out to... Like, I put the instructions... That I... What I wanted to find. And he found an amazing player. And he must have... Like, this is the way I like to see it. He negotiated... Even though that's not how it actually played out, there must be a reason. He just didn't say, Ooh, I saw this player. He must be good. Sign him. There must be a reason he was cheap. Cheaper than he should have been. Let me know if there is. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to figure that out myself in my head. But I'm like, that's why I'm seeing it. If I put it in a real life situation, got my scout to go out, uh, find the best option, best left back, and negotiate. Uh, with the team for a good deal and that's just the way I see it happening because <laughs> that's a ridiculous cheap fee for his ability considering he had his release clause as well so I'm like what <laughs> now Ramsey so Torreira now uh, this is where I can't I get a bit confident I get a bit confident sometimes and I just try and do skills <laughs> Dra oh, almost, but it's going to fall to Laka. Zets. Now, Torreira. Oh, good switch. Yeah, watch him go back. Yeah, definitely. I can tell the movement. Both in attack and defense. Ramsey, tuck it home! Oh, so close. Oh. Ramsey, I was trying to curl that in. Take a look on the replay. Oof, not quite. Get Welbeck just coming on so he can run into the box a little bit. Just apply that pressure. Just get in the hole so well so even with getting the amount back we do swarming the box we've still got the players wide and again through the attacking tactics have the wingers stay really wide it suits that so yeah on the transfers if we talk about it since before january until now do you think i made the team better is the team better rated now after the January window we just had I suppose that's the way I like to see it <laughs> did I improve the team that should be the first port of call and here we go through Welbeck almost and see next I feel like let's focus on the next thing I haven't done so much which is training something else so in depth there's always a lot more to do man management wise 
Here we go. Welbeck just loses it. But this is a situation when we lose a ball like that, or when I did previously, we wouldn't have as many men back. So, yeah, really set up tactically really nicely now. Really nicely. And guys, I'm just going to go through this without any edits because how this match felt, it, it was like I was still playing on professional. But hey, look at the specifics. I didn't have so many shots on target. Keep that in mind. But I feel, again, it was just a mix of, of course, you have to say we improved the team. <laughs> I, I think you can't disagree with that uh, through the signings. We brought in, brought in quality. We can see that for sure. Salah and Alaba. So... Players dream of becoming even half as smart and committed as Kashani. He's developed into a role model for the rest of the team. So all these like different roles. It's like two, like increased by two, condition boost by one. Still in the take all these. Oh, Danny Welbeck has been a huge hit with the fan. Um, with the fans, <laughs> he hit the fan. But the level star player team role has increased to three. So your fan club income will increase like all this income stuff is yeah, going so well right now warm welcome for Alaba going very sweetly but like I said coming off that last match we go into the general settings yeah that was on top player and how it felt was like yeah all my matches earlier in the season when I was playing on professionals so yeah thank you guys I did want to mention I did want to say a massive shout out to you guys that suggested those changes and I I put them in force but I don't think you can deny that Alaba defensively strong but if we target the specific if we go to defensive instructions uh, you can see those but I really feel it's the deep defensive line so initially the defense will sit deep if you want to see all the way it's described there they push back and then swarm the box <laughs> you can see it's just everyone get back so that's real good. But then if we go with attack, we've got hug the touchline, which uh, players on both flanks stay close to the touchline. So that's really good for countering. And you could have seen that through that match. And then with the wing rotation as well, um, it can create space uh, through the wing rotation there. So I think it's just a really, really good mix. Uh, just let me know. And even if we got a good result there, just how can I keep improving? How can I keep playing well? And I want to get to a point, guys. Again, we go to the system. Like, that was a match I played on top play, and I just really, I felt like I controlled it. But if you took a look at the shots as well, we didn't have a huge amount of chances if we take a look earlier. So that's where you can see that. I'd love to progress to the next level superstar, but hey, I uh, need to do my time on top player, and then we can see where we're at. But yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it here for this episode because I didn't want it to be too long, because I've got some other stuff to do today. So I wanted to get it out for you guys. Uh, so hopefully. Yeah, that's all good because uh, we did have the start of the video. We focus on transfer, so it should be a long enough video, not too short. But from the next episode, we're going to focus on games, games, games. That's all you're going to be seeing because, yeah, January is done. But I may start the video uh, maybe on that training-related stuff. Let me know some training changes I should make as I haven't really delved into it so much, just a little bit. So, yeah, that will be it for now. What do you think of my performance? Like, I, I was a little bit surprised that I did so well, judging of how I was, yeah, I felt pretty dominated in previous games I've played on top player. Uh, which was yeah, one funny a like, couple against Brighton. So yeah, uh, let me know if you uh, like this episode as well. Leave a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.